Well, hello, my dear companions. Welcome to the last episode of Doki Doki Literature Club plus the side stories. Um, as I said before, I w didn't want to play through the Doki Doki Literature Club plus again because it's most of it is similar to the main game. It's just better visuals and some new lines here and there and some new art. Um, but I think you should play it yourself. We have played the original and I loved it. Uh, but I wanted to check out the side stories and I'm so glad we did. I'm so glad you are enjoying the side stories and they add so much to the main story. Uh, and of course, if there are any th more releases for Doki Doki in the future or any new, any new mods, uh, new mods that you think uh, I should check out, tell me in the comments down below. Uh, I know there are a few longer ones, but even if it's just uh, a mod for just one video, tell me if it's good enough because um, I love this world. I would love to come back to Doki Doki uh, again in the future. But let's check out Equals. We have checked out all the different friendships. My favorite one was Self Love. Tell me in the comments down below which one you like the most. And let's check out Equals. Boom. Boom. Okay, everyone. We're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking some, since people are starting to talk about the festival, it's a good time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it's, it'll help us figure out what to do with the festival. Before the festival, you know. So Sayori and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah. So the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time which clubs and classes are doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can get to most of them before the line gets too long. Hey, that's not has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. Right, fine, go ahead. Alright, so basically we can get all the food we can Say so Then we come back here and we all eat together. That's all. Wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. <laughs> Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can't come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. N no, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something lit liter literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. We really get a sh we really get a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. I tell you what, we can do both, right? We'll make time for you, your food mission, and still put together a public event. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I was just joking, but that's a really good idea. Well, I'm glad that's settled. I think the question is how to come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club. Well, it's kind of tough, because everyone gets something different out of the club. Yeah, how about this? Let's go around and have each of us talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help us figure out what kind of rep reputation we want to build. Yeah, that's too embarrassing. Oh, but you don't have so much to talk. But you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it, it's the literature club. We talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Um, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings they don't matter. I'm sorry. Oh, wrong, <laughs> wrong voice. No, it's, it's the right voice. Okay. 
Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I was the first to join after all. Wouldn't that be me? I wanna go first. <laughs> fine, fine. You can start, I don't mind. Yay. So... Gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun sharing poems with people. It seems like it would be a safe way to express myself. You know, like if it's just a poem, then I can share it without feeling like I'm burdening every, everyone with my problems. Oh, Sayori. You know about your rain clouds. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and was it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. Don't remind me of that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it seems like it's so much fun to help to start a new club. Especially since writing helped me so much, I wanted to see if it helped other people too. But it ended up being me who was inspired. Because I remember feeling like Monica was just so sweet and mature that I could trust her with anything. It makes me feel a lot less alone having someone who knew even the bad things about me. Yeah, yeah, Monica knew about Sayori's rain clouds. And at that point I knew that Literature Club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. It really helped to give the club a more cohesive vision. Yeah, and then Yuri joined, but she was so different from us and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't re ready to get re really close to someone really quickly. I never really thought about that sort of thing. Yeah, I guess it really helped Yuri too. Oh, sorry, uh, Sayori. Sayori too. I really feel like I'm gotten better at understanding people's different needs. That makes me really happy because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want to help them in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if, I, if it weren't for you. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. And I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a special idea of the kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sayori tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do, or even ought to do. But I stayed in the club thanks to that, and I started trying as hard as I could to do to, to understand people better. We really went uh, above and beyond when it, came to, when, it come, when it came to that. I was just super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who is easily liked by others, like the two of you can. And because of that I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Also, I discovered that sometimes I'm better communicated than I when I take the right time to write rather than speak. It's so strange that the way things turn out is so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. <laughs> okay, please don't do that. <laughs> Besides, I'm not cute. Oh, you are adorable, Yuri. You are adorable. Hey, isn't that my line? 
Oh, well, for me, it's actually true, so. <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing. I finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. My heart! <laughs> yeah, Yuri and Natsuki are both adorable. Everyone, oh, everyone uh, of these characters are adorable. Sayori, take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can be can't believe you were complaining about doing this and still went before me. What a show off. I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get into, get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I, I did. A regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. What? <laughs> cupcake queen? Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No! I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only Yuri can. <laughs> hey. Well, anyway, I'm just putting off, putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff, but I guess that comes down to it that I'm in a much better place mentally than I was when I first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly really painful thing to go through. Having to cut them off, it still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I know it was for the best and I was right. I guess for me it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so... I thought that the right thing to do was to just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, and even when I was being like the biggest jerk. I'm really sorry for being such a jerk to everyone. I was really the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little. We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I could never do anything in return. That's not true. Natsuki. You've done a lot more than you think. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when I first joined, when you first cho showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. Apparently, that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. You really taught me that anything that makes someone happy is worth of respects, yeah. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a lot to me, a whole lot to me. Because we didn't know this in the main game, that Natsuki was actually the one who inspired Monica to start playing piano. So there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot too. So much fun to have you around. You helped me to become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or in inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. You always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. Yeah, because Yuri and Natsuki... I mean... Yeah, the whole self-love thing, they both struggled, struggled with that. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say so Monica can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it, it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of other people. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve others, other people's problems. 
But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And that's the best thing you can do is, and the best thing you can do is to help guide people rather than to do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I know I've said this many times, but the reason why I call this community's members companions uh, is because I see us as equals. I don't see me as, you know, the big YouTuber who has all these fans. I mean, no, I want to see us as equals, you know, back to back, side by side enjoying the journeys we go through with the games or reactions or uh, yeah and i think companionship or companions that kind of thing fit uh, what i wanted to what i want us what i want us to be uh, we're all good people we're all equals I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club, realizing what that really means. <clears throat> Sayori, what are you doing? I just thought that we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are val valuable to us. With a piece of shock on her hand, Sayori writes the word trust on a chalkboard. This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my, my good side. Oh no, they're gonna write the side story's names? The des oh my god, yes. The side story's names are kind of the values. The values of the literature club. Suddenly Yuri takes a piece of shock as well. She writes, understanding. <laughs> This is so good. I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so different, difficult for me to express myself. In that case, Monica takes a piece of shock as well and writes the word respect. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought, and I'm a better person because of it. Oh, well, I have another one. Sayuri writes balance. Sometimes people want different things out of a friendship and they need time before they're really ready to become close. Yeah. Yeah, that's so so true. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me, Yuri writes reflection. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people, and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great, we have a whole list of things now. Suddenly, everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone took uh, all the shocks, so don't look at me like that, jeez. You could have just asked. Monica hands a piece of shock to Natsuki. The Natsuki sighs and writes, Self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. Yeah, self-love. That, that doesn't happen overnight. It, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. So, there's, that's my contribution. Together everyone stares at the words on the board. <laughs> yeah. What's this, this club supposed to be about literature? It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a picture together. We don't have one yet, right? Yeah, we don't have one yet. Hey, you're right. Make, se make sure you send it to me later. Or after. Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone get together. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? And click. Can I see the picture? 
I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how we've come, how far we've come, with only four members. Yeah, I have so many happy thoughts right now. Happy thoughts, Sayori. Happy thoughts. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. <laughs> I'll do it too, but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. The four members of the literature club disperse and return to their desks, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance and start writing immediately. Sayori stretches and then does the same, but Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of what, where to start. Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Write the way into your heart. Her mind is full of thoughts. Her mind full of thoughts, memories and inspiration. Monica navigates her past her mental barriers and begin to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. This game There we have it. Oh my god. I want to see the- I think we will have it like the picture they took at the end. I hope so. I love all the new art. It looks so good. It looks so good. I really hope they will make more official Doki Doki stuff in the future. I mean, it's a, such a good universe. Oh, look at that. Yeah, all these pictures. It's such a good universe to... I mean, this would be an amazing anime. Trust me, it would be an amazing anime if they did it right. Oh. Wow, this was so good. As I said, it added so much to the main story. It feels like we really, now really know the girls. I mean, we have, we've played several different mods on the channel. Please check them out if you haven't. Uh, but we have played so many different mods. And of, they have been great. But they haven't really been official. Uh... Yeah. Wow. This game, wow. Thank you, dear player, for enjoying a story of friendship and literature. May I see the group? Made with love. Oh, yeah. There we have the photo. Oh, they are so cute. They are so adorable. That's a beautiful picture. There we have it. And this male thing. This. There are so many. Th I won't go. I won't make videos about that. But it's a whole other thing, you know, about the game, the horror part of the game. About this company who made the game and the. Like, we're inside a computer here, we have the mail. Because these mails, mails, emails, are between the different people. And it's something weird about this. The humans in our embassy operate completely different from our fundamental level, and therefore, we, there are so many things. There are so many things. But I won't go through that, because there are so many theories about that on YouTube already. So I hope 
they will make some kind of Doki Doki 2 in the future. I hope that. To get more into the horror part of it as well. But yeah. Tell me what you think about. No, tell me what you think about the side stories. And hope you enjoy. Never ever forget to stay awesome. I'll see you soon. To the loo. All the ways you blow my mind, yeah. People always talk.